The third time's a charm, but for only one team. Dick and I'll find out which team continues on their quest for a championship after today's third round game between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Crimson Tide know they're in for a fight tonight, Dick. What are their keys to succeed this evening? Hey, if you ask me, the keys are simple, Brad. Number one, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Next, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. And lastly, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Now trying to feed the low block. They get that rejected. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Steals a pass. The point guard handles the pass. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can. Locks it. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Number 12 receives the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important how talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Number 15 receives the pass. Trying to feed the low block. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They go into the low block. In the paint. Too much. That's a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. On the inside, number one draws the personal. You are being used as a launching pad. Number one goes to the line for the first time. He buries it. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 12 handles the feed. Not this time. Number 11 comes up with it. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Number 50, pump fakes. For the bucket, in and out. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. He fires away. Way off target. 
he hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Moving it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Down inside. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Pull-up jumper from way out. Off the rim and no good. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Number 12 is emotionally fired up. Hey, Brad, I love Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when they needed him, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits it. They scored seven in a row. Offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. In the paint. That spin move's not going to work against the defense uh, like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. For two. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Takes the pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Looking for the foul. Up. Easy one. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Way off target. There's the pick. Puts it up, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Great double team, really explosive. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And now they'll bring it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Ten on the shot clock. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. They work the perimeter from way outside. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots. Way off target. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gave it up. 
Double team now, bad angle. Good job defensively. Tries for two. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. Number one gets his first action tonight, Dick. You ask me, Brad, this kid could easily be a starter. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Gets a second. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Look at that spacing. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They're working around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. We didn't see that again, Brad. job to create the angle using the glass. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Makes them both. Two, perfectly executed. Up and inside. The senior leader drops it in for the score and gets the foul. He's playing the way they taught him how to play, baby. Number four, coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. He makes it. Wow, the screener is back to school on that pick. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Tries to get the D to bite. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He dragged the defender into the screen, but can't drop the bucket. 
The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. It's two at the charity strike. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. In and out. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Gave it up. He goes with a jump hook. Kansas State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. It around the arc, way out on top, controlling the ball. Number one steals the ball. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Ten seconds to put it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. There he is, strips the ball loose. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. And a slam. That's an 11-0 run. Back into action here. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up. Now the high screen. Nice shot. That's a nice looking play right here. Looking for a good shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He up fakes. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He rejects it. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. It's stolen. Here they come now on a turn. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That's a 7-0 run. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way.
They strip him of the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to drop. And he scores despite the hat. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. And in and out. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Sets a screen for his teammate. Trying to draw the foul. Got to make that baby at a wide open angle and a chance to lay it on the glass for easy deuce. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And he scores it off the glass. And we'll go to the free throw line. Sinks it. Number 34 is trying to get the fans involved now. He wants the crowd excited for this offensive possession. Number one with the theft. He makes a nice shot fake. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. See a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. He shoots from the top of the circle. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Number 11 takes it away. Jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. And he'll kick it back outside. They work it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He squares up down on the low block. I'll tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He shoots from the top of the circle. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good.
takes the shot. Puts it out on the floor and up and under. Andre did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. On the outside, shot's there if he wants it. He drains the bucket. Shot clock is dead. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. themselves shooting very well Dick in that first half hey that's a true sign of a well coached team and a mature team and we don't see too many mature teams they're not mature like you Mr. Nestle <laughs> let's go to the third member of our broadcast team here's Aaron Andrews well Brad and Dick as you can imagine both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime they said at this point it all comes down to playing their game having fun and enjoying the moment guys all right, thanks, Aaron. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Two, easy one. He fires away. He gets the bucket. The Crimson Tide are trailing by six. Looking for a good shot. Fakes a jumper. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Up and inside. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Looking for a good shot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 11 is, was a highly talented recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Dumps it in. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this. I'm telling you, kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Picks off the lazy pass. Pushes it up. High post screen. So effective that screen. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down. circle 
Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. They'll work it around the arc. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Way out on top and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Kicks it out. The skip pass is picked off. They run it up into transition. Cross court. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The point guard takes the feed. Pump fakes. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the deuce, off the rim and no good. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Alabama are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Fake. Intercepted. For the bucket. Rims out. And a momentary look from three-point land. The point guard takes the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries the three. Off the rim and no good. There's the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job of creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. player flashing and the ball goes out of play full house and a packed crowd and they are into it tonight i tell you what emotion what an edge for the home team number one takes the pass in the paint good defensive stance there against the spin move that one's blocked from behind great rotation by the d i love it the ball goes out of play Man and high. 
high post. The small forward with the ball. Drains it. The Wildcats lead by six. Number one with the foul. Second team foul. On the dribble, gives it up. He unloads a three. Way off target. Number one makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He can't buy one. Makes the shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. A lot of pressure on a basketball. Play the plate of wall, tough. Drive him, beat him, turn him, beat him to his spot. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Buries it. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. The power forward gets the pass. He hits the shot. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. For the bucket. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Picked off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Pushing that basketball. Robs him of the ball. On the outside. Gave it up. In the post. Alabama have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. And the ball goes out of bounds. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Working around the perimeter. He looks for three. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. With a deep shot from outside. He drains it. 
That's a 14 zip run. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Number two grabs it. The shooting guard gets the ball. Nice hop. on the guy in the post to go the other way. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Gave it up. He shoots from outside. Great shot. <laughs> up fake. Double team now, bad angle. Steals the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Alabama are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. Thanks, Aaron. Great defense. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I think right now I've got to focus defensively. He strips him clean. Up and inside. He shoots from the top of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. Terrible execution on offense. Slam jam bam, up and away, the elevator man, they love it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And they come with a double team to stop it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Alabama have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. He intercepts it. Working it around the perimeter. That's a nice fake. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. They work it around the arc. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Doesn't go. Finger roll. <laughs> Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Fakes the shot. He tries the three ball. 
He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. He goes with a baby hook and in and out. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking for a good shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Intercepted. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steals the pass. Up and inside. Nice high post screen. Goes up for two. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. In and out. Looking to move it around the perimeter. In the paint. Count that as a personal foul. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get bored like I am. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Picked out of the air. Pushes it. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. On the outside. There's the trap. He puts up the tray. Rims out. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For two. Up. Easy one. Defense playing up from three-point range. Off the rim and no good. Dick, how do these guys stay so fresh on defense? Hey, three words, Brad. Rotation, rotation, and rotation. They're playing like a true team out there, supporting one another when there's a breakdown. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. A couple of free ones. Gets the first. Have to make the free throw. They work it around the perimeter. Got a guy right up on him. He looks for three. He makes the shot. 
We gotta roll that one back. Trying to pack it inside. Looking for a screen on top and got it. On the outside, got the shot if he wants it. Ten on the shot clock. That one goes back from whence it came. Shot clock is dead. Number three is charged with the foul. Third team foul. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. They're definitely having some fun out there. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game round, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Crimson Tide just wanted it a little bit more in this game, and because of that, they're going to live to play another day, Dick. Hey, they're on their way to the Elite Eight, Mr. Nestle, where they'll be joined by the seven best teams in the nation. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.